our first reading talks about a very familiar quotation to most of us. My people perish because of lack of knowledge and because you have rejected knowledge. And maybe looking at Hosea in the light of the gospel, it gives us a new meaning of what it's like to reject knowledge. And most of us, when we say reject knowledge, we talk about a homily being brought forth and the people not believing, or a doctrine or a word and the people rejecting it immediately as blasphemy or not believing what the priest or anyone is saying. That's our idea of rejecting knowledge. But if we look at Hosea in the light of the gospel, it gives us a new picture or meaning of what it's like to reject knowledge. You know, Psalm says, the Lord reigns, He's above everything, He works in all things. And in God's greatness and creativity, knowledge can be taught to us in many ways and in many forms. And sadly, most of us, when presented in a different form, we immediately reject the knowledge that God is bringing forth. And knowledge can come to us if we look at the scripture in the form of a need of a person. And, you know, last night, you know, there, there are days that uh, we call uh, one thing after another, you know, so that's not your situation when I give And you're about to give a reflection and siguro, for some of you or most of you, you know, I admire the bishop and the rest of the deacons. Uh, pag nagbibigay ng increase, pag nagbibigay ng reflection, no? pag nasign sila, eh, isang tingin nila sa Bible, eh, meron silang three-hour reflection. Pero ako, walang pumapasok pag gabi. You know? Pag ako na po nag-meditate, walang pumapasok. Ewan you know? ko, na-experience niyo. Yun. Pilit mong nag-meditate, wala nang uh, Lord, you know. But <clears throat> going home, braving through the traffic, and with things a lot of a lot of in your mind, you know, I went I went left turn to a curb, and you know, so uh, new Innova's uh, rear wheel tire stuck in a deep gutter. You know, pagliko ko ano? Ikaw, Pagod ka, dami mong iniisip, wala ka pang reflection. Pero gusto mo yung umuwi. I'd like to go home. I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm not in the mood. You know, I should go left turn. And doon naman yung dalawang security guard at isang shake is delivery boy who are helping. But something clicked in me and I stopped. Malayo na ako eh. Bumalik ako. You know, inatrust ko yung sasakyan. And then, found out, now it's an elderly man who's new in the area and he doesn't know that deep gather him. So there were four of us, parents of gospel. And we tried backwards to push the Kumubra. Siguro, wisdom ni Lord, sabi ko, let's push it forward. So we push it forward and lo and behold, you know, your car is free. Go home with your car. And and as I go home, and most of us experience that, we have joy in our hearts. You know, hindi nga kami magkakilala ng security guard, delivery boy, at isang pare. Pare sa gospel, di ba yung apat na tao? You know, who carried the paralytic, yung gospel. Eh. Parang ganun, pero poche, binuhat namin. You know? And going home, that's when I realized that, you know, God was teaching me knowledge. He taught me, kasi siguro, kawawa naman itong paring ito, wala nang joy, magribigay pa naman ng reflection. He taught me joy at that time. Uh, alam natin yan, magbigay ka singko sa pulubi, masaya ka eh. <laughs> So, helping that elderly man and working with people whom you don't know, you know, there's something na uh, it brings joy in your heart. A real joy, you know, that comes and flows. So I go home, happy, with a reflection. Not knowing that 
in the midst of trouble, the opportunity to learn the knowledge or know about joy is lurking at the corner. Even so knowledge, most of the time we reject knowledge because we see it in a form of a need. It's an allergy to a need. You know? Para si Jesus Christ, yung leper. You know, who would like to touch a leper? No one. Who would like to bring a paralytic who you don't even know in a crowd and risking riot, risking your reputation? Kasi sinira nila yung bubong ni Jesus Christ. All of those things, you know, knowledge is at hand. But most of the time, we reject knowledge. Not in the form of a homily, but in the form of a need of a leper, a paralytic, or an elderly man who cannot push his car out of a gutter. That's rejecting knowledge when we refuse to help. Parang I'm reminded again, Sunday, reading natin, di ba? Yung The Rich Man, and sabi dun, every day, Lazarus was at his door, at his gate. Every day, he has the opportunity to learn. And by the way, Lazarus means the Lord helps. It's not Lazarus who needs help. It's the rich man who needs help. He needs help to learn compassion. He needs help to learn joy. He needs help to be righteous. He needs help to experience the joy of God. And yet, every day, that opportunity was... Paglabas niya pala, meron na siya opportunity for eternal life. Paglabas niya pala, may opportunity pa siya to learn knowledge. But what did he do? He rejected it every day. So may our eyes be open, our hearts open to God, and see that God is teaching us knowledge every day at our doorsteps, at our gates. Every day, every morning, may we not reject knowledge. When we see the when we see the paralytic, when we see the leper, when we see an elderly who needs a push, that is God. May we not reject knowledge.